Welcome back to the Boosted Ride YouTube channel. Today is Memorial Day and we want to say thank you to those men and women who made the ultimate sacrifice for us and let us remember those who courageously gave their lives. Today I want to start off with a shop update and where we're at. So I've gotten some wood here which I'll show you what we're doing with that. Got a lot of things moved out up front here. Um, some of it did get shoved back in here but there's the new air compressor and hoist still sitting there. Some of this stuff's been moved around, but I'm working on this area over here one thing at a time. I moved the bench from right here back there. We're going to make this our new fabrication corner and put the table in there. I need to figure out like the saw and what else do we got? We got the TIG welder over there. We've got the MIG welder and a few other things that need to go into that area, obviously belt sanders, stuff like that. So we'll get that all rearranged and possibly even put toolboxes in. I'm not sure how far we're going to go over here if maybe... You know, we keep it somewhere where the red toolbox is, or if I'm going to dedicate the entire half, which would be to that post there, to the fabrication area. It is nice to have, you know, a nice good sized area, but that does take away, you know, this was a bay here for a car to go into, and one over here, so I would lose another one, because technically I could fit three underneath this loft here, one there, and two over here originally. But, you know, with the things we're working on, we do need this area. And I want to make it more accessible for us for future projects. So we'll decide on that as we put things together. That is my dad's generator needs to get out of here. You know, stuff like snowblower um, guard, snow blowers, this one, and the craftsman. All that stuff needs to get out of here. And we also did open up a lot of our replacement items. So we got a lot of that stuff unpackaged. For whatever reason, all the cleaning supplies, the people said it was not worth them cleaning it. So... They threw it all and replaced it. But yeah, I've got my new garage vacuum cleaner, um, the air conditioner unit, just a portable one that I had in the shop before just to kind of take the edge off. Hose reel that was broke. Um, yeah, and obviously lots and lots of stuff there. That's pretty much an update on the shop for now. I'm gonna continue to work on this. That's why I've, I haven't been recording anything. There's nothing to really show you guys as far as me just moving stuff around. So that's why the video's kind of been held up a little bit here but that's an update here what i want to do now is i got to find some ziploc baggies i want to run over to the shop at my parents I'm trying to think while i'm talking here we need to pull all the injectors out because i do believe we might have something stuck either an injector issue i think but bottom line moran said he would look at the injectors for us talk with them over there mike's uh, gonna get those all checked over for us so we're going to pull Jason's as well. We'll pull all 16 of mine. They'll even take a look at the Holly ones for us, get them all tested, flowed. So I'm going to find those Ziploc bags. We'll head over there and let's get those pulled out so we can get those sent off. Because we got events coming up real quick here. And there's some other things I need to take care of as well. So we're not going to get this shop done, hoist up or anything. Because I need to have no power in here still. So that's going to be here in the next couple of weeks. But we have events before then. So let's get over there, get those out. And we got to get stuff done. All right, so made it over here at my parents' shop. Went ahead and just got the passenger rail pulled off here. And I believe we're going to pull this entire rail system off because we don't really have the, quite the chamfer we need for these O-rings to go into. I'm not sure if we just didn't run the bit in far enough or not, but I'm going to have my brother just go in here on the top and bottom of the rails. We'll get those cleaned up, put a nice chamfer so the O-rings go in better next time. So I'm going to go ahead here and get the driver's side off, get them all baggied up. Jason's over there. They're dying on a motor. So they're doing that right now. I'm trying to pull this apart. We'll get this all boxed up and off to Moran. Get these all cleaned up, checked over. I'm going to keep them in the order they're in, label them in the baggies, so that way hopefully if there is an issue, we can uh, follow that back to the way they were in the motor, if there was an issue. So that way there's some kind of translation back to us. So let's go ahead and get these pulled out now. All right, so got those all pulled out. Kind of just shake the rest of the methanol out of it. They're going to clean them anyway, so got them all lined up here. And I brought my bag sealing equipment over here, so I'm going to go ahead and put the Moran separate from the Holly 160s. So I'm going to go ahead and bag those all up right now. Like I said, label one through eight for the cylinders, and then I'll also label which one went. I guess I'll just do like a one through eight as well. We'll call this one through, you know, one, three, five, seven on this side for the actual blower. 
Not that that matters because it's all getting pushed down into that V opening in the front. But again, just so we can coincide what was going on with this possibly. So I'll bag those up now. Jeez, I thought you fixed that transmission leak. <laughs> I thought so too. I think you made more. I think so. You can shine your light in there. What is actually leaking out the front again? Looks like it's right here. Yeah, it's right in there. Mm -hmm. Clean the lens off. Oh, right the pump. Yeah, I won't focus on it, but right here. Jason did put a new O-ring in there and new gasket too, didn't you? Yep. Hmm. Good thing we didn't pay for those. <laughs> Why is this bolt right here wet? Hmm. I don't know. Hmm. Otherwise, nothing else seems to be leaking, anyways. Oh, we got a little bit of oil right here. It's tight. Yeah. Well, yeah, good news is, oh, I think you did leak a little bit here. You might have sprayed a little bit out of your mm. tail housing, but the JB Weld's still on there. And the seal's in. Let's see, doing pretty good. What's it feel like? Is it's it hard? Good and hard. <laughs> it's not wet, though, is it? Honestly? Nope. I don't know. Hmm. You know, one thing we never did look at was break any of these welds. Mm. Yeah, as far as hard as it hit the wall, that chicken scratched the weld might have actually did hold up. Hmm. Jeez. Yeah, well, I'd say it did pretty good. If anything, it just pushed all the transferred everything to the back end, maybe. Now the ruin's probably crooked. Probably. Well, two burnouts, and he still hasn't popped the set. Same set. <laughs> third time's a charm. Yeah. Well, if we leave these ones out of there, you might actually pop them for the third time. Hmm. I don't know if we can see any damage under here. Okay, so there. I did push the oil filter housing, the clear view, into these cross rods. We talked about taking those out. might have helped, but... I don't see no transmission cooler leaking, but definitely better not take a chance with that. Did it bend the radiator too? No. I think it may have just pushed the bottom. Yeah. I don't know if anything out. It didn't hurt either one. Could run it again. Got a little leak on your oil filter there. That. Missing right. a missing a bolt in the bracket to hold your that's probably the only thing that helped it. You're missing a bolt right there. Let that flex. That was on the trailer when we unloaded it. The second one or the first one? The second one. Well, we'll just have to see if we can pull this back. Oh, Jesus. I never actually looked at this until I had to hoist it. I'm going to say it mangled her up pretty good there. We had to do a KSR. Uh, hook the chain up to it and give her a couple tugs. Yep, right here through this hole right here. Yeah, anything's better than nothing. If we can at least get this main brace here pulled back, get the clear view back out of the other stuff. We don't want to fix it too good. I mean, it might just happen again. <laughs> <laughs> Probably. Maybe we better just uh, cut that off and put a big... Yeah. No, I think we need a big I-beam or something in the front of it up here for the next time. Mm-hmm. All right, gonna go ahead and take out Jason's fuel rails now, or fuel rails, so we can get the injectors out. Again, he's running the Moran 500 cc. These are some old style ones versus the new ones that I got. Hmm, a little horsepower action here today. So yeah, we'll get these pulled out. Jason does have his actual Moran case for his. Hmm. Mine's lost in my shop somewhere. So we'll get these out, package up, and then I think we'll call her a day. Well, on, this, on that part, we got other shit to do. <laughs> no, we don't. <laughs> yeah, we do. All right, so we're just doing a little checklist here and seeing what all we need to do to Jason's. Like I said, if we can get the transmission pulled out somehow, we might have to cut some holes to the firewall to get through there. Uh, to get those couple bolts out because they definitely will not come out from the top side and 
Yeah, I mean, what you got going on there? No, I'm just cleaning them. I see a little crack here, though. Oh, there's a little crack there. I don't know if you can see. Oh, yeah, camera picked it up. Crack there. Any other ones cracked? Oh, oh the name tag's coming off. Right yeah, actually. Cracked on that bracket. Right yep, the Dan Olson name tag's coming off. I wonder if we got any cracked on the driver's side here. See if we can get in here and take a look. Yeah, we're cracked on the bracket there. I don't know how much the camera picks up. Cracked. Tubes cracked on the header here. Really hard to see. Actually, actually, you got more problems than that, Jason. Uh, I think we had more than. Uh, you might hit a hair follicle through there, and I think it's actually hitting on the motor plate that's in the frame. I think you. Uh, I think you might have bent the frame, Jason. <laughs> You got extra clearance on that side? Because you got minimal clearance over here. I got room over here. Oh, yeah. Well, that's not good, boys. I think we I think we bent the frame. I mean, who would expect that when it smashed back like six to nine inches? <laughs> oh, well. It's just a burnout car in the end. There's a look at it from the top side, how bad it's twisted in there, but... Oh well, we'll hook it up, pull it out, get the best we can. We might just have to zip that header off there and maybe just clearance that motor plate and that motor mount a little bit. It's not going to hurt anything, so that's why we got it motor plated in there. All right, like, comment, share, and subscribe. We'll see you guys in the next one, and we'll go from there.